Hi everyone, it's Gail and it is Mixed Media Monday today and I've got a little project that I want to share with you uh, using colored baby wipes and we'll get into that in a minute. Let's say hi and hugs to Lucy, Anita, Donna, and Carolyn. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, we're going to make a journal cover, yet another, because, you know, I love having a made ahead. And what we're going to use is colored baby wipes. I recently had a question about, um, about baby wipes, and I use baby wipes for uh, mopping up when I use sprays, when I use, paint, you know, paint. Here's one that's all painty. And um, we're going to make a journal cover out of these. And I just, I, I think what we need to do first is kind of get some, you know, light colors together. Ooh, I love the purple there. Ooh, let's maybe think about some purple. Yeah. So it looks like I've already separated these by colors at some point. Okay. So I love this too, <laughs> but we're going to use purples. So let's do that. Okay, so these are kind of the purple ones. And so after using these to mop up inks or whatever it is you're doing, then you just lay them out and let them dry and you get this wonderful textural fuzzy thing to work with. So let's see what we can do with these. Um, I just spotted another kind of purple. That one's kind of, maybe it's a little too much turquoise. Okay. Okay. Hopefully that's enough. I think it will be. So I'm going to use, um, a nine by 12 envelope as a base. And I'm just going to get that prepared by getting that down. Um, and then, and then we're just going to Mod Podge. We're going to Mod Podge, and I want these to be kind of here and there and collage looking. So, oh, that one's blue. Not exactly <laughs> in my colors. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I'm just going to start going to start. Oh, let's not want to tear that way very badly. There we go. I might need my scissors. Let me grab those just one second. I might need it to just kind of get it started. So when I did, yeah, it doesn't want to go that way. So you're going to have to cut. It. Um, when I did Bucky's canvas, the background was all these baby wipes. So let me scooch those over. So um, if you want to take a look at that, I think I'm going to wrap these just like I would another, like a piece of paper. Um, anyway, if you want to take a look at that, if you search on YouTube for Gail Augustinelli, um, Gail Augustinelli Bucky Canvas, that will come up. And that was, again, that was using this technique of, of having some fun with your baby wipes. Yeah. Uh, looks like... The uh, yellow of the envelope is going to show through a little bit. If that bothers you, then just put gesso over your, I think if you gesso your envelope, you know, then it'll have a white background. Doesn't bother me. Oops, that's probably a little much. I think I'll do the corners first because this is going to be 
a bit of the messy part, I think. Okay. So there's that corner. Let's do another little tear here. Or cut. <laughs> Okay, let's do this corner. I think we'll go that way. Okay. Got the plan in mind. So, um, I know I've kind of been on a roll with journal covers, and I do have a playlist for journal covers. So, um, if you're looking for different ideas, they're all in there. And I try to, if I do something else, I try to always add it to that playlist just so that, um, so that it's there and easy, easy to access if you're like, oh, I want to make this journal, but I just don't know what to do with the cover. Then you can kind of just take a look at that and hopefully... Hopefully find some ideas. Now you could just leave this and it'll still feel fuzzy. And that's kind of fun. That's a, you know, a fun, um, different sort of feel for a journal cover. But um, I am going to Mod Podge over the top, too, of this. So... So mine won't, mine won't feel as fuzzy. It will feel more, um, I don't know. It is really cool like this. I don't know. We'll get it done and then we'll decide. How's that? This one maybe could go. I think I'll cut that a bit. Sorry, I keep going over to the side. I don't know why. Okay. Yeah, let's just do that. Um, yeah, it's it's just a little more, you know, a little more crunchy. But it still has lots of texture. You can also, you could bunch these up and make it have even more texture if you want to. You know, lots of, lots of creative ways to go with these, I feel like. Okay. Gosh, it's snowing again. <laughs> We're not out of the woods yet when it comes to the snow. Okay. go there okay and one more corner which hmm I think I might do some of this one is this the yeah that's the way that it tears fine not so much this way <laughs> um The other thing you could do is, um, let's see, I don't want to do this, maybe like that. Um, the other thing you could do is sew over the top of this if you wanted to, you know, just get it to be a little more, a little more stable on there. Gra I keep grabbing way too much Mod Podge. that so um yeah so that's another thought to do you know you could 
kind of almost quilt it or you could do crazy stitching all over it or whatever so I'm going to go over all the edges just so that the envelope doesn't show at all forgot to put my gloves in a bottle on my hands so I'm going to be sticky but that's okay all right, so there's that. Now, let's look at the rest of the edges. I want to use some of this for sure. Look at how fun that is. Let's just cut that in half, be a good size. And I'm just going to go like that and go over the edge. So I'd kind of like something under that because I really like that edge. So. Now let's see. We have. You know what? I think. I think I'm going to use some of this one just for variety. Yep. Okay, I am gonna I'm gonna put that like that first so that that one and then very textural these and it's good because oh I went too high on that but that's okay I think I'll go over a bit too. Um, we're keeping the baby wipes out of the out of the landfills too. Is the other plus. Yeah, that's good. That's not wanting to lay down very much. There we go. So yeah, another two birds with one stone in terms of trying to answer a viewer's question about what can you do with the painty or inky baby wipes. Okay, I'm liking that. Okay, let's put a piece of this like right here too, like that. Okay. Hopefully, that will stick. Yeah, I'm liking that pop of color besides the the purple. That's good. Okay. Okay. Um 
maybe we'll just do what if we did that yep then that one will be all used but we'll have we'll kind of have three spots where it's residing which is good do kind of go through a lot of Mod Podge with this, but, you know, it's worth it. Let's see, that side's brighter. I'm going to go with this side. Okay. And then, um, and then I will put some sort of focal point in the middle. I do have a slow stitch purple piece that I was going to use for a purple journal. And um, so, I don't know, I might use that. We'll see. We'll see if it seems to go. Okay, now, what else? Let's see, we have this piece that we could put right there. Yeah, I think so. This is, I actually might see what happens if I put it on the piece. I don't know if it's going to love it. it. What with being fibrous like it is, it kind of just soaks it right up. So, I don't know. But I had to try. Okay. I am going to be a Mod Podgy mess by the end of this. But, you know, it's always fun to get messy, whatever. Whatever sort of thing it is, whether it's paint or glue or whatever. I do have those magic things called baby wipes that I can wipe off my hands. Okay. I'm going to need something here. I'm going to need something there. We know that. But let's use some of this which is kind of a darker purple I think I might go here with that I don't want all that white But then that can fold over too. Okay, let's get this all full Mod Podge. I need to move up a little, I think. Oh, quiet, aren't I? That's unusual. <laughs> okay. But part of that is this is my third video today. I've I I don't I don't have anything new to talk about. <laughs> my uh trying to trying to get things done for to go get our Alfie tomorrow. Oh, that's going to need to go up a ways. But I just, I really wanted to show you guys this just for fun. 
and it works pretty well with the mixed media Monday. Because I'll tell you what, I go through baby wipes with mixed media. <laughs> so there we go. Okay, so there's that. We just have this one spot, I think. Again, I'd like to use this. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not quite big enough. Let's go this way. Okay, and then we're on the inside already. Now, if you didn't want baby wipes on the inside, or if you didn't have enough baby wipes or something, you could always um, also put another kind of piece of fabric, or you could put paper. So, you know, you're only limited by your imagination. And I know you guys, you're not limited by that either. Okay, we'll flip that over. And then I need a couple of, a couple of little pieces that I can put on the front to cover up. Over up right here and right there. So, what do we have? Um, I think I might like to use just a little of this. Let's go like that. And let's just cut it in half. And so I'm going to go here with that. Um, even though we're using kind of the same ones, it's okay because they'll be on, you know, on different covers, the front cover and the back cover. Okay. Maybe with this one, should we go this way? I think I'm going to do the torn edge there. I'm going to move it more this way because I don't want it to be right on the um, spine necessarily. Sometimes it's tricky to get that to stick because it wants to peel away when you fold it. Okay, so I'm going to put that right here. Okay, cool. Um, so that's, that's the front. Let's now work on the back a bit. Um, well, this one's kind of fun. It's got a bit of got a bit of yellowish greenish in it. And I'll just cut that. It's also got kind of a curl up there, but that could add some nice texture actually. Maybe I'll put that right there. Okay. I kind of like that. Once it gets a Mod Podge on it, that'll be nice. Okay, let's put this one maybe up in this corner. Just 
Well, that was a good dip. Good, healthy dip of Mod Podge. Okay. All right. And let's let's use some of this little grungy guy. Might as well. Guess I might as well use those in the corners. Let's see. Which side is which? This side, I think. Yeah, let's put that up there. Sorry if I'm wiggling the table. It's just my mixed media area setup is the it's it's wiggly. The reason my journal area one isn't is because I've got um I've got the arm, the filming arm is attached to my buffet, not my table. So that has been really good and made a big difference, but but yeah, over here I'm attached to the table because I have nothing else I can attach to. So I know you get a little wiggling in my mixed media videos and apologize, but I don't know what else to do. I suppose I could move some piece of furniture over here or something, but I don't want to crowd myself because as you know I often have to run to get something here or there okay so let's do let's do some of this one oh, I like that crunchy edge but I think I might want it up here more so yeah let's do that I'm going to need a little place to pat, a little patch place on this edge. I don't think it's going to fit the whole way, but that's okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to need a little... Gonna need a little strip down there. That's okay. Okay, this one has some really wonderful pattern to it. Don't go here and there. Well, we are going to have used up our purple ones, that's for sure. I think I might do that with that one. Oh. Quit snowing. Just looked out my window. It's just a tiny bit. I mean, it's like just little, little bitty flakes, but I'm watching it because we have to go on the road tomorrow. And this morning, oh my gosh, bad, bad wrecks everywhere. And ugh. don't want to be on the road when that happens. Okay. Ugh. I'm very sticky. <laughs> uh, let's see. I kind of feel like this little piece would be good in that spot. This is the about the only color I have left now so it's gonna have to it's gonna have to do and just maybe go like that like that Okay. 
now let's see we have just down here let's see what we have Ooh, that's a fun little blotchy one to go across there I don't think this I think I'm gonna have to cut it because that's Okay, I'm gonna go like so with that one. All right, I'm gonna need a good amount of glue here. Because we want it to stick to the other baby wipes. That does. Oh, it's a little off up there. Okay, we just have a tiny bit left, guys. Let's see. It's a good thing because I'm running out of. That will do just fine. And then we're going to just Mod Podge over the top. And And I guess you could say these. this makes truly a junk journal because <laughs> it's what we would have thrown away. There we go. Let's see. Little corner. Come here. Okay, so there is that. I think, excuse me while I grab a new piece of wax paper. That one's getting pretty, pretty goopy. Okay. So, move that. Put a new one. And there, so let's, let's do a little Mod Podging over the top and then we are going to be pretty well there. It's a little tricky because you don't want to, um, you know, you don't want to pull up what you've got there on the corners and stuff. You want them to go down. So what I'll do is tomorrow, let's see, on Tuesday's video, before I get to work on whatever I'm going to do, I'll show you this dry, okay? Does that sound like a plan? Um... Get both sides all mod podged and I don't know, this might take a while. I don't know if you guys want to hang out with me. If you don't, that's okay. No worries. <laughs> I understand. It's busy lives we lead. Oh gosh, you need to go down. Um, so this is, this will take a while to dry because I mean it's soaked underneath and now it's going to be soaked on top too. So, um, one other thing I did want to show you real quick, though, 
And then I think I'll let you go and I'll just continue on this because I'm just going to be doing the top. But the other thing I wanted to show you is you can do a similar thing with paper towels. If you don't use, these are coffee dyed, but if you, like I used that to clean something up. Oops. And some inks and yeah. So I just kind of wanted to show you, you can do the same thing with um, paper towels. So thanks everybody so much for watching. I'll just continue on with this and I hope you give it a try. It's a great way to um, recycle baby wipes and, um, and make something for a future journal. So thanks everyone. Have a grateful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.